Test, 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 is this thing on? What's up everybody? Uh, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you guys don't know, my name is J-Doug. For those who do know, again, my name is J-Doug. Uh, thank you for checking me out. If you're here for the first time, like, subscribe. If you've been here, what you haven't liked to subscribe, this is your time to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Um, so as you see by the title of the video, uh, I just recently did my first performance at the Buda Farmers Market here in Buda, Texas. This year, I went out on a limb and I stepped out and I became a solo artist uh, here in the great city of Austin, Texas. And it's been one of the best experiences I can say that I've ever done uh, in my musical career for a plethora of reasons. And I'll make a, another video about that. And today I'm gonna do a little video of how I got booked for this, my first performance and how you can take these steps to be booked for your first performance as well. So let's hop right into it. So first things first, I'm gonna move my camera to the side uh, so I can show you guys what's on this beautiful screen right here. So let's do that right now. So here's a little template or guidebook, uh, rules or whatever you wanna call it, of some things that you should follow to book your first performance and make your first performance a success. So for step one, uh, I have, you need to find an opportunity. So using my opportunity that I found, me and my wife, we were at the local farmer's market uh, in Buda, Texas, and it was a band playing. And I was like, hmm, I think I can do that. I know I can do that. So I asked around, I said, hey, who runs this farmer's market? And uh, one of the vendors told me it was a company called Munchie Micros, and shout out to Munchie Micros, because they gave me the opportunity for my first performance. So that's how I found my opportunity. Step two, you need to find out who you need to contact and contact them. Uh, so kind of like how I said in step one, one of the vendors told me who ran the Buda Farmers Market and I went and I found them, I got their information and then I sent them an email. And now when it comes to emailing, you need to make sure that you're a professional, you know, you greet them by saying good afternoon, good morning or grand rising or however, you know, you need to greet them as long as it's in a professional manner. Uh, be clear, be thorough. Uh, in my email, I say, hey, my name is J-Doug. I'm a solo, solo artist, band leader, blah, 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 blah. Tell them how you were able to get in contact with them. For this instance, I spoke to the lady's husband. Include some references of your work, some videos. I have some videos of me and my band playing right here. And then, you know, you go down, you tell them your information, et cetera. You negotiate, you do what you gotta do. Also another thing, quick going, quick sign up, going back to uh, step two. In some of my more recent opportunities, I found it best to call and email as well. I think it really shows them that you're serious about what you do and you're serious about playing at their, uh, their event. Also, include some, some videos that you think would sell you better to who you're trying to get to buy. So for example, this was a farmer's market, so there wasn't really an audience, or sorry, a demographic for my audience. So I just included some of my all around genre videos that I think most people would like and it worked. So once you go through the process of emailing them, step number three is to get booked. And once you're booked, you're booked. Uh, you can do all the negotiating beforehand once you solidify something, solidify. Don't renege, don't go back because this can make you seem like you're not really a person of your word. So you, you kind of got to go forth. Unless you feel like you walked into a really bad deal or a really bad opportunity, then you have to do what's best for you. Step four, practice, practice, practice. So you, you want to make sure that you are giving the best product to anybody that could come by and they could come by see you and hear you not just the person that has booked you but you never know what kind of opportunities could walk by and hear you playing your music so make sure you practice and practice and practice for me i had to practice running ableton uh with my midi controller and practice going through different sections of my songs and making sure that when i push that trigger on my midi controller i push it at the right time so that Ableton will go to the right spot that I wanna go. So yeah, you gotta practice that, you gotta perfect your craft. And step number five, last but not least, is to perform. You go out there, you perform, you give a great show, 
You do what you do, boom, you're out. A uh, couple things, make sure that you're giving the atmosphere of that's a person that wants to be there. I had people coming up to me, they were uh, smiling, they were dancing, they were giving tips. It was great. So just make sure that you convey what you want from the audience by playing or performing what you want to them. When I say performing, not necessarily performing your songs, but performing good energy, good vibes, et cetera, et cetera. Also, I'm gonna be posting another video soon of how I recorded my whole performance using my interface. Look out for that video coming soon. All right, so this has been a video on how to book your first performance. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, what's up? Join the family. Thank you. Jay Duck out.